Well, welcome to the Cooking Corner. With many people still working on eating healthier, our friend Heather Berryhill shows us how to make some easy and delicious steak bites and zoodles. Hi, Heather Berryhill here. Welcome back to my home kitchen. Okay, it's a new year, so you know what that means. It's time to get healthy. I've got a beef and zoodles recipe that's loaded with protein and vegetables. You're gonna love it, so let's get in the kitchen and get cooking. I have a pound and a half of top sirloin steak that I've just cubed. I've got that in a bowl setting to the side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make the marinade to marinate this beef. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a half a cup of soy sauce. Now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of just good olive oil. Two tablespoons of good hot sauce. I'm actually using sriracha. Now the juice of one lemon. Putting that juice into the marinade. I told you this marinade was easy. Now we're just gonna put in fresh cracked black pepper. I'm gonna give that a mix. Now I'm just gonna pour this easy marinade over all of the chopped beef. I'm gonna give this a stir. I'm gonna put some plastic wrap over the top, put it back in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, or you can do this overnight if you really want that flavor to seep in. I'm going to make some beautiful zoodles out of zucchini. So I've got a piece of zucchini. I'm gonna put that on my KitchenAid mixer, put my nifty little attachment on, and go for it. My beef is all marinated and I am ready to start cooking that up. You do need a little bit of butter in the pan. So I'm gonna put like two tablespoons of butter down. I've got my pan scorching hot, the butter's all melted. I'm not gonna overcrowd with the beef. I'm going to just put a few pieces, cook those, take it out and then put the next batch. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to this pan just so we get a good sear on it and the butter doesn't burn as easy. You wanna kinda leave these alone for a minute so that they get a good sear on it. So it's really important to leave your pan kind of on high. Now we're gonna turn these into some kind of garlic butter tasting steak bites. I'm gonna add some butter and some garlic and the rest of the marinade before we put in the zoodles. It is time to add these gorgeous zoodles to the mix. You don't wanna cook these very long. I like them with a little bit of a crunch. They're really long, hard to maneuver, but once you get them all in, they kinda get soft and you mix with all that marinade and it's just delicious. This is where that extra marinade comes in handy because you want all of that marinade to coat the zoodles, the beef. I am gonna add a tiny bit of beef broth to the pan just to make it a little juicy here, help those zoodles cook down. And very last is just some red pepper flakes to give it a little kick. Just to finish it off, I'm gonna put some really pretty fresh thyme leaves right on top and some fresh parsley. Give that all a really good mix. We've got lots and lots of juice in the bottom. So delicious. So there you have it, beef with zoodles to help you get your new year kicked off just right. For more recipes like this, go to the research.com website or follow me on Instagram at just me, Heather B.